is uh, bring um, better survival benefit and also how um, is that reduce the resistance of the cancer and and their aim is to use as little of the drugs as possible in order to um, reduce potential uh, side effect. And here's the experiment one that they use the combination of two drugs. And here's the result. And you can see that there are, there are two tables. And then the first one, um, you can see that uh, there are up to 65% of the patients who has um, stable response. That means um, the growth of the cancer cells is lower as lower and also um, stop their growth rate. And also the other table is showing that um, there are 31.7% of patients uh, which have um, treated with the combination of two drugs. Um, they have one year survival rate which is comparable, really favorable uh, than th that one treated with only the uh, gemcitabine alone. And the second experiment is um, use and other um, drugs. And you can so, uh, see that the result is um, there is no significant difference between um, two groups, the new combinations and just the um, gem cytobind alone. And there is no reduction of the resistance. And then the third experiment is with uh, the result from, uh, from the experiment one and plus the radiation, under the radiation. And there is a median survival um, benefit is about 15 months, which is much longer than, uh, than the German side to bind alone. And also it is well tolerated and 76% of the patient had the typical skin rash. And overall this result indicate that um, the, uh, the experiment especially the last one, um, disrupt essential, uh, essential survival and proliferate the pathway and the pancreatic cancer cells. And this is a good start for the uh, towards uh, the treatment of the pancreatic cancer. So um, I would like to talk about the last three sessions of this article. Um, the topics are rest as markers of efficacy, limitations of EGFR target therapy, and the mechanism of resistance to EGFR target therapy. Firstly, I would like to summarize this part. Um, the writer said that the uh, treatment efficacy may correlate to rest, and this is due to the just levels or genetic variability. Um, he also explained the mechanism which limit EGFR target therapy and describes some specific mechanism. And there are some uncertainties in the studies. The writer got the kin clinical data and found that the rest and the EGFR target therapy may be related. But how this, uh, how do they relate to each other? And the writer tried to answer answer it, but this is only the hypothesis. And although this, uh, this does not have any contradictions with the argument, um, it is better to discover the relationship so as to increase the degree of pers persuasion. The intended audience of this journal article is, is, uh, are people who are interested in target therapy and have scientific background. Generally, this journal article is persuasive because um, it suggests numbers of mechanisms involved in EGFR target therapy and, and gave lots of evidence such as clinical research. And this evidence are uh, consistent with the argument. In conclusion, um, we found that this article is related to our topic, the effectiveness of target therapy. From this article, it is found that EGFR target therapy was not so effective to cure pancreatic cancer because it has some side effects such as rash and the limitation may minimize the uh, power of the therapy. That's the end of our presentation. Thank you.